Knicks road trip continues tonight. They're in Washington to take on the Wizards. They're six and five on the year, sitting third place in the Atlantic Division. I firmly believe this team will get better defensively as the season goes along. For Knicks forward Julius Randle, all the haters after his early season struggles are now quiet. He has scored 23 or more points in five straight games. I don't know of a player in this market that has more of a love-hate relationship with its fans. To me, I appreciate his availability, work ethic. I appreciate his buy-in with head coach Tom Thibodeau. He's not the perfect player, but he is the one that began the ascent of the Nick franchise three years ago. He should be appreciated more than he is. Nick fans and analysts like to point out what he is not instead of focusing on what he is. He plays the majority of the games. He plays hurt. He produces. I know there's a ceiling to his game, and I know he is not a superstar, but... There was a time in this city when Knicks fans were really supportive of their own. Ewing, Starks, Oakley, and Mason. That era of Knicks basketball, we should get back to that. Instead of focusing on the negatives of Randall and maybe his demeanor at times, let's appreciate the player that he is. That one that lays it on the line most nights. Takes great pride in wearing the orange and blue and a forward that has evolved and transformed his body and game while here in New York. He's a hard worker. Point producing product of Dallas, Texas, and I appreciate him. Oh, by the way, he's been an all star two of the last three seasons as well. Others see it, and you should too. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.